that first episode it sucks that we had to feel the suffering but you signed up for this we all sign up for this when we voluntarily watch a revenge series we need to feel the low so that when we end up killing the monkey soon it's gonna be justifiable now goddamn 10 years of revenge all built up my only worry is i hope that the pink girl the pink hair girl doesn't prevent uh the main character from pursuing his revenge and he'll be like you know what i actually don't need to do revenge i can just live a life happy with you pink girl i'll be like fuck but this series is built on revenge if they don't deliver i think it's gonna bomb but fingers crossed let's begin today's reaction here we go he's coming out yo we haven't even seen him fight yet all we've seen him with the feather i want to see him fight let's go just physically really really strong nah y'all are dead y'all are so dead she knows is he popular gouge his eyes out gouge his eyes out yeah yeah no show me it come on throwing that accuracy pinpoint oh you're done bro you're done he's so fast that animation looks a little wonky there he didn't just shoot his dick off, did he? No, I did I don't know. Did, did we both looked at each other and the gun was pointed downwards. <laughs> Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Uh-oh. Nah, he's going to free her, right? Nah, he wouldn't kill a girl. Right? Actually, we got to kill the girl monkeys, but is she a girl monkey? What is she? What? What is she? Imagine he just kills her and her entire... No. No, 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 maybe he just shot the handcuffs. Imagine if he fucking just shoots her and kills her after the author sets up the pink hair girl last episode. Wouldn't that be insane? It's like, you know, that girl, she didn't matter. Goodbye. New Nightmare. This place is called New Nightmare. It's gonna be Nightmare for them pretty soon. Our token femboy. Yeah, yeah, it's a femboy for sure. Oh, dude, the femboy's gonna get his bussy ripped out by the main character, bro. Holy shit. I like her design, but goddamn, they're all fucking... They're on the other side. They're all monkeys. This is weird. They're introducing new characters with quirks that I might even like. I like his design, her design. I don't know about him, but... They're not making them hateable, right? Whoa. Whoa. Full machine? Other than the head. The cyborgs. Femboy cyborg. Oh, hey, yo! Yeah, did you see that? <laughs> I guess they don't have a bussy then, huh? Here we go. Here we go. What does that feather do? Now he's got a gun too. I want to see the feather in action. Well, we did see him like summon a big sword last episode. Here we go. Written style summoning mag. Did that bullet just get bigger? What's going on here? Wait, no, no, no. It did get bigger! So immediately we're just going, dropping buildings, yeah? Let's go. Yes. Yes. Every last monkey. Damn. The prison break. Okay. Well, you know how I said that the new characters aren't hateable? Well, there you go. There you go. Let's go. Maybe our first kill. No, not him. Come on. I kind of like him. He's funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what you get for wearing that shirt with their belly out. There's kids around. Oh, you going to die. Eddie and Takuma, you're going to die. Kill them right now. No, nothing's going to keep your family safe. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. All y'all dying. Chloe. I won it, Would Chloe be upset after experiencing what she felt at the end there, right? Not at, like at this point, but after being humiliated by the king. Would she still be upset? I don't know. We're not here for redemption, though. We're here to kill everyone. What the fuck did you say? Kill them right now. Kill them right now. Come on! Come on, I want some violence. Good. Remember the pain. Don't forget that. I swear to God, if he has a moment like, oh, I don't need to pursue revenge, I'm dropping this shit. Exactly! She couldn't even finish her sentence! Yes. Yes. Yes! Drop a fucking bomb. Let's go! Some more some oh, oh. Grande giant golem thing, okay? It's got some booba too. 
Look at his eyes. They are just so... What's the word? Disturbed. What are you cops gonna do about it? What are you cops gonna do about it? Y'all fucking doing desk jobs right now like me, bro. Y'all got no combat experience. No. Okay, okay, this is fucked. This is really fucked. We have to kill the monkeys. But the children and innocent people didn't do anything. It's mostly the king. It'd be nice if he just went around killing the government people. The innocent people being killed here is really shitty. In fact... This is actually really fucked, considering the political climate right now with the current media. I don't really talk about it, but, you know. Limited confrontation. You're expecting wrong, my man. Oh, you're gonna need everything and more. Maybe I'm overestimating, you know, uh, Adonis. Also, why is that giant like a waifu? Why did, you, why did Adonis summon, like, a waifu giant? <laughs> it's got titties and everything. They got anti-magic stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Adonis must be able to counter it somehow, right? They specifically showed us that technology last episode to counter Chloe. Oh, also, are you serious? Are you serious? They just haven't maintained the fucking tech, so they can't use it? <laughs> oh, sure, I guess. I'm expecting Adonis to be able to bypass it, though, somehow. That baby was... That baby was going like this to the robot. <laughs> Watch them kill the civilians with these tank artillery shots, though. Mm, uh, what are you aiming at, bro? What the fuck are you shooting at? Is this Adonis? Are there aims that shit, or is that Adonis? It is Adonis. Oh! Oh, shit! We can just fight like that, too? Logic and practice. Me what do you mean? He was shot in that chamber for 10 years! Simulation without... <laughs> so he just... He just thought for 10 years? <laughs> okay. For 10 years he was just thinking? Okay. Okay, non-witch. But using a magic is to use written style summoning. Okay. I don't know what you're saying right now. But basically... Non-humans can use... Only way to use magic is this way, and... He's been thinking very hard for 10 years. <laughs> thinking extremely hard. <laughs> While you were out here partying, I was in the chamber training. <laughs> training the blade, no, the feather. Well, how about just the government people? I don't know, the, the regular civilians kind of fucked. Alright, Gatling gun time. Yes. I love eye for an eye. I'm so petty. Give me the revenge. Okay, these people shoot at the fucking tanks, bro. Not these. I I don't know about these. They're they're even like blurring them out so that we don't feel as bad. But shoot the tanks, bro. <laughs> He's crying. He's genuinely crying. You're getting high from this. Let me feel better about this. Is he feeling guilty? Let me feel better about this. That was weird for a second. I feel like, let me feel better about this. Dude, why is the fanboy's thigh so... Anyways, the robotic thighs are crazy. Anyway, I think he's feeling a little hesitation in his heart for killing innocents. Okay, they got jets now. They got jets now. Sure. Just fucking smack it down. Eh. But it didn't really do much, did it? Okay, okay. I'd like to think that the army bombing the area, the public, is having more public casualties. I'm gonna believe that this is the army, okay? Not Adonis. Oh. This is where Adonis saves them. By catching the building. Oh, never mind! Did you see the toes? Did you see the grippers there? Did you see her toes on display? I saw it. Wow, she's fast, though. Did you, what about the mom? <laughs> what about the mom? The mom dead! I guess, then again, her stomach was already, like, cut in half. <laughs> I don't got time for that kid! Fuck that kid! And start running away! Yeah! Ain't nobody got time to look after each other! Mm, you gonna try to stop him? No! 
I knew that this pink haired girl was used for one fucking thing, and that's to prevent him from going all out. It's to make him realize that there's more to life than just revenge. Plus, this is the place we should be bombing. Oh, don't tell me the king is sick. No. No, the king better not be fucking sick. Fuck me, dude. Fuck me, dude. It's the veil girl again. What if she's poisoning him? This is a common trope in these kind of series, right? Maybe she's the actual main baddie. Mm, I don't like this because we need to kill the king ourselves. But at this rate, he's going to fucking die of sickness. Mm, I don't trust the queen right now. Usually in these situations, it's like the queen or someone that wants to be next in line, like slowly poisoning the king. Fuck! Why? This motherfucker better be alive until Adonis gets here. Mm. Judging by his voice tone, he seems to have... Maybe... Do you think the king has gone through like a redemption arc? And he's like, I am aware of my sins. I accept it. So that by the time that we show... Exactly. Look, look, look. By the time Adonis shows up, the king's going to be like, you know what? Kill me. I'm fine with it. No, no, no. This queen is so sus. Not only the fact that we can't even see her eyes, but there's something so sus about her. Yeah, yeah, why didn't you? Yeah, why didn't you? That was dumb as fuck. <laughs> no! No! I am an Avenger! You don't know me! This is Sakura and this is fucking Sasuke right now! No! We are an Avenger! We don't have time for this bullshit! No! Yes. Yes. No! Not even! This is just episode two! No, they gonna keep dying. They gonna keep dying. Wasn't Chloe innocent? I think he took offense to that. Wasn't Chloe innocent? You think this government dog was innocent? I swear to God, if he, he better stay true to his revenge. Yes, they're all monkeys. They're all monkeys. Kill them all. That's right. That's right. Even if it's a pink girl waifu, that could be the main character, the supporting side. Girl of the series. No. Mm. Don't listen to her. What do you know about her? She is a fucking distraction, though. <sighs> you know what would be nice? If she was also on the path of revenge with us. But, like, the way that this is set up, I feel like the author is really just using her for him to have some semblance of humanity. All us witches. Mmm. He can't kill her. Now join us on the path of revenge. Come on. Doroka. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> he let her down. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I thought all witches are dead. What, what happened? Now he's just lashing out. Now he is projecting his insecurity out. There's no way she would have... Yeah, the, this is like Adonis projecting his own mistakes and insecurities onto her. Huh? Wait. Resurrection magic? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Wait. Wait, what do you, what do you mean by this? She specifically saves him. I thought it was just chance. I don't know how to feel about this. Because now... <laughs> Sword has been summoned, but... Wait, wait, wait. Resurrection is on the table. Mm. This is so edgy. <laughs> mm. Oh no, it's reminding me of Chloe! This witch. This witch. She's making our resolve weaker, but... If it's for resurrecting her, that's a bit different. It's an interesting way to kind of slow down the whole vengeance path of destruction. I don't know how to feel about this, guys. Ah, pink Chloe. <laughs> it's just pink Chloe now, bro. But we can still. Oh, no! No, shit! No, shit! No! No! What do you mean? You're gonna develop her for two episodes and just kill her like this? So that we can continue doing the revenge, right? Now I'm all aboard. Femboy robot? Thank you! Thank you! Now we can just go all out! I thought episode one was just gonna be a hook and bait, and then the future episodes might be kind of a letdown because for many of reasons, revenge stories often fail if the main character strays in the path of revenge, and then there's some other supporting cast that's like, that's not the only way to live! What's gonna happen after vengeance? You know, there's more to life, and all that bullshit fucking prevents the revenge from happening. But her right there, right? The pink haired girl, Doroka, 
she's a witch. There's a way to resurrect Chloe. And then, and at that point, I was like, ah, fuck, Adonis might stop doing all this revenge stuff so that we can just kind of focus on resurrecting Chloe. But at the end there, she got killed by the femboy cyborg. So now I'm thinking, hmm, is she actually dead? If she's dead, like, I would say props to the author. That'd be fucking insane that you just threw this pink hair girl in for no reason and just wiped her off. Or she's got some healing magic or maybe that was like a duplicate. I don't know. There's, there's many different ways to prevent her death right now. But still, episode two, for what it was, goddamn, that shit was hype. And the king, I swear to God, he better stay alive until we get to him. And that queen, super sus, but... That veil, that veil combo on the queen. Mm, mm. Anyways, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.